What's up? What's going on? Beautiful. Okay. How you doing? I don't got you, black girl. You just got on my. You page. do got me black. I can't no, comment on nothing. If you can't, you, because you don't follow me on my page to be able to comment on my on on anything. You have to follow me, and let's get something clear and straight too. I don't like Lou either. It just so <laughs> happened. It just I want to clear that up for the air because that is not even close to come true. I cannot say Lou either, but I will say this: if I had the two, I, if both of them fall off the page. And I can only save one. It is either super or Lou. I'm sorry, but that motherfucking nose, that nose. I gotta say, super. Face. I love super. Oh, I, I've been I've been loving super before Lou, and I've been loving and I love super. You know, everybody got their own reasons, but I already know shape, but. It is what it is. But I don't like yeah. that. I don't like no mother. I'm not helping out for Lou. It just so happened I just like him. If I, I don't like neither one of them. But I take <laughs> Lou over Super. And I guess and look. Okay, let me answer this. So okay, I, you got to back this up. We got, they got the viewers in All here. Right. They about they about All to right. come. Back All it up right. now. Tell the people real quick who you is and what's your and what's your connection to everything. So back it up from the beginning from the get go. I know what's going on as right. far as you dealing with Lou. And right. the whole hospital thing, but for the viewers that's just joining in, y'all make sure y'all share this live. Get it, get it, crump. Tell everybody, she, this, she talk, share this live. Run it up, y'all. Make sure y'all follow her. You heard me. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna get into it. Well, now what's not? So back it up. You mess. You you currently mess with Lou, or you used to mess with you? What's the status of y'all relationship? All right. Um, we gonna start from the beginning. Since shake on, so we got time today. We got time. Oh yes, Lord. I met Lou, <laughs> and. Maybe be the beginning of October of last year. Okay. Um, you know, I I I I I know Lou from being super baby daddy. That's how I know Lou. I never, you know, ever met Lou in person. Um, mm -hmm. none of that. Right. Um, you know, I'm the type of person, you know, I believe in getting to know people for yourself. Right. Um, Ooh. you know, Ooh. me and him, right. you know, we um <clears throat> we inbox. Okay. And we kicked it. Um, you know, we we move real quick. We okay. move real quick. Um I'm the type of person, I have a big old heart. Mm -hmm. I have a big heart, and, and my heart overloads my mind a lot. Right. Um, so, when as you know, as I met Lou, um, I kind of, like, felt sorry for him. You what? know, I, I ignored what? all the red flags that all the things that, um, you know, um, I've, um, I've heard previously, and I just, you know, got to know him for myself. When you say feel sorry for him, you felt sorry for him on a friendship level, or you felt sorry for what he was going through, like on that relationship kick? Because I think knowing... I felt sorry. I think I felt sorry um, for him on how everybody was um, degrading him, and um, I'm a true believer in suicide. You know, okay. and I yeah. feel like um, you know I really believe you know in suicide. Right. No, <laughs> so, that's real. That's real. So me and him, you know, we started kicking it quick. You know, when I met him, I'm going to keep it I'm going to keep it all the way 100. When I met Lou, um, when I met Lou, um, Lou was really at his works. Um, you know, I'm like, you know, let's go, let's go out. Let's go to the lake, you know, let's go, um, you know, let's go out. So he like, all right, cool. Do you feel he was I, suicidal? No, I didn't think he was suicidal. I didn't, okay. I just, I just know what he was going through. Gotcha. And um and um and you know I and I picked them up. They should have been a first red flag. I picked them up. Okay. And um we went on the lake, you know, and um and we talked and um instantly we moved fast. We moved okay. fast. So you know, at the time I met him I had two cars. Um I had a Benz, I had a Range Rover. And, um, you know, I just gave him the keys to my Range Rover. I'm like, look, you can drive the Range Rover, I drive the Benz, you know. And, um, Bullshit. that was a big mistake. If you meet a nigga that ain't got nothing, leave him with nothing. Period. <laughs> you meet a nigga that let him get it the best way he can. So, you know, we started, um, we started kicking it real fast. Mm -hmm. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a hustler. And so, I asked him, I said, um, you know, I, I was asking him, I'm like, you know, Where's your merchandise? You know, because I know he he sell clothes. Right. So um, I'm like um, where your merchandise? You know, so he would kind of like brush it off, brush it off, brush it off. So um, one day, you know, it had to be like two months. We we was like two months in, mm -hmm. and um, 
we was like maybe two months in, and he said, well, B, he said, um, I do have merchandise. He said, um, let me pause you for a second. Okay, so okay. you, all right, so you, you put him in a vehicle, the vehicle that you wasn't using, and was trying to help him get on his feet from a mental perspective. Mm -hmm. Uh, as far as like other finances, were you helping him in any type of? Of course. Okay. Of course. All right. So, and when like, you say two, um, in the next part, do you say two months in? Two months in what? Two months in the of friendship. Him dealing. So y'all were him dealing. When you say dealing, do you, you say y'all were in a relationship as well? No. As, let Let me tell you. He 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 played mind control. He played mind games. He he played mind control. All right. He'll tell you we're not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But he will live with you as if you're in a relationship. Now, at this point, two months in, he's sleeping mm -hmm. here every okay. single night. He sleeps here every night. So, you talking about, um, oh, we ain't in a relationship, but we living as you as we're in a relationship, you know. And it was many of times I asked him. I said, well, what if you find up? Um, I'm talking to somebody. Oh, I'ma leave you. I'ma leave you. And it just was a mind game. And um. So anyway, to skip all that, so he like, um, babe, I have merchandise. He said is in a storage. He find like two months in, he finally got the, you know, he told me. So I'm right. like, well, you know, let's go get it out the storage. You know, I'm like, I have a, um, I'm like, I have a, um, a shop. You can put some of the clothes in there. I'll help you sell the clothes. So he like, well, the storage is locked. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, the storage locked. He like, yeah, um, so we go to the storage. Oh, mm -hmm. my credit card, I had to pay, I think it had to be like $800 to get the storage unlocked. So God, I paid the $800 because at the end of the day, if I'm fucking with you and I'm winning, I want you to win too. That just is what it is. Right. Um. So we get the storage unlocked. I'm talking about he opened the storage. The bitch got Buku merchandise in there. Buku okay. merchandise. So he like, um, <laughs> he like, um, he got to go to, he like, well, look, his Shopify was shut down too. I was wondering why, um, why you know, like you'll see people comment on his post saying I never got my merchandise or blah blah blah. The Shopify was shut down too because he um, wasn't paying that either. So oh, no. I paid to get the Shopify all set mm -hmm. up. So he had to give me the the passcode, you know. So he like, Bay, look, I need you to get my Shopify set up. So he gave me the passcode. So bam, okay. he go to Atlanta. Supposedly to go get some merchandise. So he go to Atlanta to um he go to Atlanta to um supposedly get some merchandise. So you right. know we women. We women. So I'm like, well, he gave me the Shopify passcode. Um, <laughs> let, me check out. let me see if it works for Instagram. <laughs> so I put it the passcode in, right? Right. Right. I get to the Instagram. Girl. Okay, you are still Now, <laughs> this is how I fall, find out everything. Like, I, I don't want to expose these people on here, but Good. this is how I find out um everything. No, the D is not fire, baby. It's not fire. The D ain't fire. It's, it's two minutes in real life, and it's Lil. But, um, so I goes on, um, <clears throat> I goes on, um, you know, I goes on the Instagram, so you know, buku hoes, like hoes who really hold buku just, but the one that disturbed me the most was the 18 year old. Um, and we're gonna get into this message. So the little girl was like, um, he asked the little girl, he said, How old are you? So the little girl was like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm 18. Oh my god, he lucky I don't want. They, I got pictures on here. But anyway, this is the picture. Oh, here I go. All right, I won't black this little girl name out. This the picture right here, bitch. She went down the timeline. He sent this picture to everybody. And you had this picture too, Shaky. Mm -hmm. So um, so this the picture he sent to everybody. All right, so here go the message. It says, how old are you? The little girl said, I ain't going to lie. I'm 18. I was going to send more. Just ain't want you to screenshot, uh, screen record me. Why you ain't anyway he a pedophile? Cause right. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about, bitch. Eighteen ain't grown. Um. So 
you know, I had a talk to him. You know, I'm like, you know, I asked him, I'm like, you know, do you like um little, you know, little girls? Because I have a 16 year old and a 20 year old daughter. You know, so I, you know, I'm asking you personally. You know, do you like no? You know what he told me? What he told me? You don't know what they send me. It doesn't matter <laughs> what they send you. <laughs> you don't know what they send me. And I know a lot of people might be on here while lad, bitch. You knew he was a pedophile. You knew all this and blah, blah, blah. And um, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I did know all that. But when you love somebody, you love somebody. When somebody is a narcissist and they have you, you know, brainwashed. Because let me tell you something. <clears throat> he, um, he, um, the bitch is a smooth operator. He's a smooth operator. Like, he will manipulate the fuck out you. Okay. And, um, so anyway. So you, so, let me ask you this. You said when you love somebody. And what part did you fall in love with? Um, I, I'm going to say this. I'm the type of person that when I do love, I love hard. Um. What's your sign? Scorpio. Okay. Um, um it had to be quick. And then, like, I'm a lawyer yeah. person, too. If I mess with somebody, I'm messing with that person. You know what I'm saying? So it was easy for me to, you know, basically just fuck with him. You know, because I, I just, like, I kept ignoring the red flags. I kept ignoring the red flags. Kept ignoring the red flags. And and I and I say that to say, man, if somebody show who y'all is, y'all got to believe them. You know, like, you can't just keep on ignoring people's red flags because, um how they holding you at night, how they, you know what I'm saying? You can't keep on doing that. And that, and like, I don't blame nobody in this situation, Shaky. I blame myself. Um, I don't think it's um, your fault, though. If, so, hold up, hold up. Why are you blaming yourself for trying to give somebody a chance? Um, and I don't think that's the wrong thing for you to do as far as giving somebody a chance. Um, I, the, let me say something, and I believe this firmly. All right, so the situation with him and Super went south. But, you know, in, 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 in the situation with him and her, his life became engulfed with hers. Like, he didn't have a life outside of her. So when you met him, he, had, he, he was literally almost lifeless. So you, like, when you say feeling sorry for him, I think that's part of your heart. You can't be, you can't be, that's not wrong. You didn't do anything wrong to say, it's not your fault to hear. Um, what I think should have happened here was him honoring the chance you gave him. So don't don't beat yourself up for that. I'm not gonna let you do that because I'm a I'm a Sagittarius, but I'm a I, I'm a, on the Scorpio side of Sagittarius more than the um the Capricorn side. But I will say this: so I have a heart too. So it's, it's like I give somebody a second, third, fifth, tenth chance if I believe that it's warranted. That that don't mean you beat yourself up. Let me ask you this: so y'all was so y'all were doing good at some point because you mentioned laying in the bed, having good times, and stuff like that. So you you are mentioning these things. What happened? So what happened to turn the good stuff bad? Is it just going into the Instagram and all of a sudden? It, it's means? always no. It just always was something with another girl. Like I could say probably these ten and a half months, <clears throat> and you missed the live. Actually, one of the girls that he met for three weeks and drove the daily. She was on live with me earlier. Um, mm -hmm. it's just always like they like. Well, like I'll I'll find out these things and I'll call these girls because uh we we unprotected. We unprotected and um like all these girls like I'm like, you know, do you mess with Lou? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, are y'all sexually active? Yeah. Are y'all using condoms? No. Oh. It's like like we'll be getting along so good, but it was always something with a girl. And like this last incident, um, this last incident, um, the little girl that I found out about, why well, ain't gonna call her a little girl because she's twenty five. Um, the girl that I found about um <clears throat> this last incident, she like she been messing with him for the last three months and they haven't been using um any protection. So somehow me and this girl talk, like um I literally me and her talk, but somehow she went back and told his friend the she I don't know what the fuck happened, but whatever happened caused him to be made. So he came here and he took all his stuff out of my house when I wasn't here. And that um pissed me off because you owe me money. So, bitch, you could go, but just pay me the money you owe me. So that's how, you know, the incident came along this time, um, which I accidentally... How, how, much he, how much is it? So he owes you money for the storage, paying the storage, or 
for the user. What does Baby, he owe Lou, the money for? Lou owes me. Lou owes me everything that they say he just was live showing money. He probably owe me everything that he posted on live, and that's probably ain't even enough. Because you put him back. You basically put him back on his feet. Baby, what do, you, ha you nothing, have? Your he's nothing. He was nothing without me. Nothing. All right, so the so the so the situation, so so okay, we have been getting reports. He had posted the other day about somebody getting work done, and then mm -hmm. a nigga still not wanting. Many people are thinking that that's referring to you and not super. Both y'all have. But do you first of all? Let me ask you because that's you, because he confirmed been, that he was not talking about super. Did you see that message? He was talking about. Yeah, I saw that on the. the and on, and like, that, that that's you why see? I came on here and responded. Because I because just feel talking. like that's stupid. Like he, did you he, have work? Lou is a cloud chaser. He's a cloud chaser. Um, he he did this so I could respond, but I don't call it as falling into his trap. I called it as you want the smoke, so I'm gonna give it to you. Cause I know the real about your ass. You got all these other people brainwashed because. They gonna automatically believe you because half of them don't like his baby mama, so that's why they believe him. But Lou is a fucking everything that girl said about him is true. Lou is a straight fuck up. Do you think and, and this... his friends, his female friends, you hoes is toe up. You hoes is toe up because at the end of the day, y'all women first. That's why y'all ugly and by y'all self too. Dumb ass hoes. <laughs> I got a question, quick question. Did it ever get physical? Was there a physical altercation between you and him? No, and no, no. We never had like a um no, we never had a fight. We never had a fight. We never um Lou not, Lou don't fight women. I can't okay. give him that much. He don't fight no women. He ain't gonna fight you like he'll brush you off before he fights you. All right, and that's fair. And that's fair. What, the incident where he ended up in the hospital and getting uh apparently cut up was that what 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 was your involvement with that if any um like i said his ugly ass friend went back and told him something the whole said who i found out he was messing with and um he i guess he believed it like we had just woke up that morning we was in a good place literally in a good place we just woke up um he left um he left here so about um maybe about 11 30 ish maybe he called me with you you that you was talking about me to the girl and they recorded you and um i heard everything you say blah 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 so i'm like all right i ain't tripping off that lou you won't go leave um so i had a little notification to my phone saying that he had came took all his stuff out here so i know bitch if your stuff going out here bitch you ain't paying me you don't got no intentions on giving me my money so i confronted him um i confronted him my daughter on here saying stop telling my business i don't feel like i'm telling my business there's nothing to hide but um um i confronted them about what was going on so he tried to um he tried to um walk up on me it was an accident it, it really was an accident. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, I did it and I stabbed them because I didn't do that. It was an accident. And um, that's how that came by to happen. All right. So, so eventually, y'all, we reconciled from that issue. And he was with you for a period. And then how long from that incident until him taking the stuff and allegedly shading you on, uh, on, on the gram? Um, that, that actually that happened last Monday. Okay. That happened last Monday, and um, and tell y'all ain't crazy. That happened last Monday, right? Let me go to these messages. I'm looking for these text free numbers because I just got a message from text free. Um, I just got a message from two different text free numbers when me and my homegirl was out Saturday asking me to come meet you in Marrero. 
from a text free number saying who you with uh because you play games come meet me Ooh. wow okay so right. but that just that incident happened monday so um maybe tuesday um me and him talked on the phone and he was like um Girl, shut your dirty ass up. Um, me and him, um, maybe Tuesday, me and him talked on the phone and he was like, pull up, pull up. So when I pulled up Tuesday, um, <clears throat> he started recording me. And he like, look, she's stalking me. I'm like, you told me to pull up just so you could record me. And that was last Tuesday. But um, other than that, I haven't called him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I prayed about the situation. You know, what's done is done. And like the incident that happened, um, you know, I, I, I just was going to leave everything behind because that's the same way I could have took his life. You know what I'm saying? So I was going to leave everything around, uh, you know, behind. And like I woke up four o'clock this morning and I got the message that you seen to my phone about somebody being body being done. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to entertain that, you know. So then today I get another text message. What him saying, um, oh, I wasn't talking about my baby mama. Like, that's what made me respond. As, as you know, you that's what made me respond. As you have the right to. Because he opened that door on that note. He brought that right. to media right. on that. That's what he did on his own volition. So I believe, and a lot of people going to tell you, okay, well, don't come to the media. But if you bring it to me on the media, this is what you want to play. Right. So I'm going to bring that's it to what you. Want, cause you want, he, let me tell you something. <laughs> he won't clout. The boy never was properly learned how to love. He won't clout. Like, he don't, he's a narcissist. He lost his, you know, his mom real young. His grandmother was the only thing that he had left. She died a few years back. So he wasn't properly taught how to love somebody. He is a heartless individual who don't care about nobody but himself. And it's a fucking sad fact, sad fact that females, females is agreeing to what this person do. Y'all won't get on here and y'all won't belittle other fucking females like you hoes is weird as fuck. Period. I ain't I ain't embarrassed about nothing I go through. I ain't embarrassed because guess what? I hold my own weight. I have the same shit that I had when a nigga left. What? Besides the money he owed me? You bitches is weird to even get on here and downgrade another woman. Like y'all hoes is dumb. And in in most of all y'all hoes single. Like y'all dumb, son. Like I don't understand that. I I I would never laugh at another woman pain. Never. Right, right. Never. I don't think anybody should. I I, I don't think anybody should laugh at anybody's pain. But let me ask you this: When you say this, so you did at some time have feelings for him, have a care about him. You have. And I love admitted, the nigga. I love the have, nigga. And you have admitted to that. And you've also, and, and that's fine, and that, and that's okay. That's something I say. You, you're wrong for loving whoever you want to love. You have also said and, and said that you think you don't think he's abusive. And the only issue that you had with him was him on the internet playing with whoever, as far as like sending messages back and forth. Now, albeit you feel like it's uncomfortable, but if somebody's 18 years old, technically that's legal. No shade, it's just what it is legally. I'm not saying it's mm -hmm. right or wrong or immoral, but so he hasn't committed a crime in that sense. Um, so without that withstanding. Just withstand if you take that part away. Say, for instance, he could just take, turn, say, for instance, he delete the gram. He don't even have it no more. And, and would you be able to reconcile your relationship with him? Because if you, if you feel like you have a heart for him and he lost somebody and, 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 and lost the people he loved and you knew where he was at and you mentioned something in regards to suicide, not saying he was suicidal, but of course they could see that was depression if he was at his lowest. Do you feel like outside of that part, that you could be have a dealings with him? And no, because he he's messed up mentally. Okay. He's messed up mentally. Like he's literally like he's a messed up. He's a he need help. He needs to go talk to someone. Like this this is beyond me. This is beyond you. He needs help because Lou is gonna destroy and hurt every body he touch. Like. These la this last incident, well, it all kicked off this last incident. Um, he left one of his phones in my car. He was in his sleep. He left one of his phones in my car. I went through the phone. These girls, 
as you go down the list, was cash app in this boy. Cash app in. Literally cash app in him. Like, he's literally going around using these young girls and just getting money from these girls. Like, having them, like, he's fucked up. That's a lot to unprocess. So, we... <sighs> So when you found out all this and addressed it with him, what was his response? Is 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 always um why I sleep at every night, why I'm at every night, and he let me tell you he's so messed up in the head. You can have the evidence in front of him, he's still gonna say she lying. Has... He's still gonna say she lying. She lying. Let me ask you this. So you. In all this, do you feel like you've been damaged any? It was a short um, time, but do you feel how are you? I don't your, feel, like, let me tell you the crazy part. Like, I don't feel hurt. I feel more betrayed. Like, I feel more betrayed because, like, I, genu I genuinely wanted to see dude win. You know what I'm saying? And any of my friends can tell you, any of my friends could get on this live and literally tell you that, you know, I want to see people win. So I really don't feel hurt because, like, it, the shit just kept happening with all these different women that I kind of, you know, I kind of got numb to it. I feel more betrayed because I'm like, dude, I really was a friend. Like, I really was there for you. And look how you do people. But then when you know people from, you know, you talk to people from his hood and you talk to people um, that grew up with him, they tell me, like, I wanted to tell you why you, you know, even let yourself get in that situation with Lou. Lou been like that. He been messing over women. He been using people, you know, when you know people that know him. So I, I, I don't feel, and, and this is the sad part. I still don't wish no, you know, bad luck on him. I, I wish the best for him. But I just hope he just leave people alone and you already did enough damage to people. Let people go on with their life. Like, that shit that you put on your page was pointless. That was pointless. Like, you wanted me to respond because you're a clout chaser. I'm not calling your phone. Lou, I don't call you. When I left you Tuesday night, I never called your phone. I don't call you no more. And every fucking time I stop talking to this bitch, he come back for me. Every time he come back for me. So you, you mentioned a part in there when you said that you 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 want him to just go ahead on. And, and, and basically you're saying you wouldn't be here right now talking to me or talking to the, the people explaining your side of the story if you wouldn't have posted what he posted. Exactly. So let me, right. so let me, so let me answer this. So in the case of him, I don't know how much money it was uh, that you were owed, but you sound, you sound to be like a smart woman. You got, you, you got your car back, obviously. You got your car back, right? Oh, of course. Okay. So you got your car back. Um, you... you 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 intended him for him to use that money to 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 get himself better, to get himself in a better position, and get himself in a better circumstance. It looks like it's working. Uh, from the outside looking in, we don't know, but it's not working. Them clothes not selling. Nobody don't want them. Okay, well, it's, 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 that's the case. Uh, but do you think that you could say, and 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 sometimes it's this. I I lost this. I and I and I'm talking not just to you, but to me. I've been a fool before, too. I got a nigga right now. I was dealing with a deal, nigga, whatever the case may be, and he asked me to borrow, it, and it's not much because I'm a broke bitch, but it was $250. It was $500, excuse me. He paid $250 of it back, so he still owed me $250, and he ducking me behind that $250 because I done moved on. And so in my mind, it was like, you know what? Let this $250 be a lesson to me to let this... And so what happens? I let it go. There you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And that's, that's what go. I did, Shaky. Like, the day like that, that that day that incident happened, I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to let it go. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <clears throat> I ain't worrying about it. I'm going to take it. I still don't take it as an L. I take it as a blessing. I bless you. You know what I'm saying? I still don't take it as an L. I take it as I bless you because I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But um. So you blessed him? You don't want nothing from him? You don't want a relationship with him at all? Nothing. Zero. Nada. You have responded in a high fashion. No, I'm just letting you know what this is. Somebody right in here right now screaming, calling it's gonna be on the YouTube. It's gonna be never. People never. Gonna see. Do you? Or what is it for you after this perk? Right now, if he says nothing else in regards to you, or he never addressed you in any other type of way, is it over at this point? 
Can you it let that couple over. dollars go? It is that. over. Y'all can have that. That's a problem, and y'all can have it. I'm over. I'm done. I want to move on with my life peacefully. Hopefully, he can move on with his life peacefully, but that'll never happen because he's a cloud chaser. His clothes is not selling, so he's trying to get everybody to get on his side, maybe to make a sale. He's building his new website because I got the last one shut down. That's why he don't have the last website because I got that bitch shut down because he had my motherfucking credit card on there and the people keep charging it. So I got that bitch shut down. That's why, he, if you notice, you can't go order. So he have somebody building his website. So he, he's going to keep on targeting people and using people and doing this so um people could buy his clothes. But if that's who his vote, for him to do this, just do it and don't don't implicate me in it. Keep me out of it because I'm not saying if you notice know from when that happened last week with his baby mama, me honestly, I don't feel nothing was wrong with the video she posted. Pain is a celebration. When you overcome pain, that is a celebration. So I don't see nothing wrong with what she posted. He just was in his motherfucking feelings because the day before, he just posted that he wanted his family back. So that's why he felt played. But he do this for clout. He do this because he want people to feel sorry for him and to come on his page and buy them dry-ass clothes. That's why he do this. How long was the clothes in this store? Do you think the clothes in this store? Them bitches will send their storage. <laughs> I met them in October. Um, I don't know because, like I said, I had to pay like $800. God, then damn. on top of that, I gave them money numerous of times to go get more merchandise. Then to come to find out the day before his grand opening, me and a, a couple of bitches gave him some money. They got one girl right now. He asked the girl from Dallas. He met this girl in Dallas. Knew the girl three weeks. Got a rental and drove out there. Put the girl in the Westin Hotel. The bitch is a lunatic. You don't even know this girl. This girl could have had an old man in Dallas to blow your fucking brains out. But he's stupid. He be so full of them fucking Percocets. So he just don't think past go. So he done went... Met this girl. Now him and this girl done fell out because she contacted me to tell me I was right. He wasn't nothing. Oh, uh, he was a piece of shit. So he, him and this girl fell out because he asked up for two thousand dollars right after he just went up there with racks of money, you know. And he he um, you know, he just asked this girl for two thousand dollars. So him and this girl fell out. Like he is wow. retarded. He meets. Let me tell y'all this story. Let me, let me tell y'all what how how what, what happened one day. I oh, swear to God, the log will snatch your bread on me right now. Let me tell you this shaking and I'll let you go. Oh, God, you tell, let me tell you how fucked up this individual is. One day I was in a call with my Lanice. God is my witness. And I text him. I said, Hey, what you doing? This how fucked up this boy is. I said, Hey, what you doing? He said, um, nothing. Who this? I said, Nikki. Now, Nikki was a white girl number that I, I, I mean, white girl I seen in the DM. Mm -hmm. I said, Nikki, this my new number. Mm -hmm. He said, um, he said, uh, <coughs> oh, what's up? Long time no see, stranger. Bitch is a fucking duck. So, now, I remind you, I'm with my Lanice. I'm on her phone. I said, come see me. You remember where I live at? He said, yeah, I remember where you live at. Um, so I said, all right. I said, <coughs> stop. W what you around? He said, I'm at Lakeside Mall right now. He was by one bitch now and left this girl when the white girl called. He thought was the white girl. So I said, well, look, stop at Bobby Abel and give me something to eat. She got all the like 50 some dollars worth of food. <laughs> me and my Lanise... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I ordered like fifty some dollars worth of food. So the whole he and his sister truck, cause remember he ain't got no coat. So okay. me and my niece, um, we following them the whole time. So look, I ordered fifty dollars worth of food at Bobby Abel. This okay. dumb bitch go in Bobby Abel, pay for the food. I ordered it under Nikki. So this bitch, um, go in Bobby Abel. Pick up the food, right? So me and my niece, we in the other, we in the parking lot next to Bobby Abel. We dying there. <laughs> so I said, look, stop at Walgreens and get some rubbers. I said, stop at Walgreens um and get some rubbers. 
I said, oh, you want it? He said, I said, oh, you want it? Uh, uh, wait, what I said, oh, you want feeling? He said, I want feeling. Nasty. This I nasty oh. the bitch. Oh, so girl. I said, um, he said, um, I want feeling. <clears throat> so, um, I said, all right. Now the whole time, this fucking girl out of town. This girl ain't even down here. This how dumb the bitch is. Mm -hmm. right, he, right. he goes to the girl house. Wait, wait. I'm gonna tell you right back. So he goes to the house. Oh my god. Huh? You a, you, I thought I was petty. I no, look was... no, I'm petty. I'm petty. Shit. I'm the queen of petty. So I'm look. Petty. So I say, so I say, uh, so I say, um, I say, um, what I told that bitch? Oh, I say, um, he, he goes to the girl house. The, and no, look, he pulled up in front of the girl. <laughs> We follow followed them. them. We followed them all the way. I know where this girl live at and everything. So he pull up in front of the girl door, right? So he started <coughs> calling the phone. So I wouldn't answer. Him. So he pulled out. So we pulled on the side of him. So I FaceTimed him. I said, bitch, give me that food. <laughs> I'm not giving it food. <laughs> I said, you about a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said you about a um I said you about a dumb motherfucker bitch. That I said and I always say him, I say, oh who gonna be the fucking death of you, dog? Oh who gonna mm -hmm. like the bitch is just dumb. He be so he he addicted to percocets and trauma dolls. He like right. the bitch take like ten percocets and trauma dolls a day. She said white. She, oh. The bitch what take like it? ten <sighs> Huh? <laughs> okay, that was that was very interesting. I was oh, shaking you. Um, I'm, I'm about you, to I'm... add the girl. I'm about to add the girl from Delhi. She keeps trying to come in. It's the girl who we've been on for three weeks. Tell her, oh, you want? <clears throat> no, tell her come on. We we it's, we sit now, Charlie. We will give you some. I go get a little something to sip on. Tell her come on. Yeah. <laughs> but my question, come on in. We, we, sister I ain't today, been off alive, bitch. Stop asking me. <laughs> who that is your daughter? <laughs> Uh, uh my best friend. Come on, niece girl. We try to get. We try to see what's going on. Girl, I'm not worried about what no whole say me. I'm not worried about what none of these whole say in these comments. <laughs> so listen. I, right, right. I All right. You, right why back. did you you screen recording the look on his face when you pulled up and got your food? Was the food good? Was it? Was it? Y'all ate it. Just, that Thing, give me the food. He probably went back by the other old who he left from by and gave it up. And brought it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, wow. no, no, I'm lying. He said he gave it to his sister. Okay. <laughs> but so what and, and, so my question is if you were able to forgive him for that. You would because obviously after that, y'all. I don't that. forgave him for a whole lot of shit. <laughs> like, I don't forgave him for a whole lot of shit. Right. Right. Do you if he was right here right now, say for instance he was on a lie. What is the one thing that you say to him right if, now? He, wait, say he, that again. Pretend I'm him. I'm he, he's here instead of me. This is you, what you to him right now in front of yourself and basically the world. Uh, what is the one thing that you want to say to him out your mouth right now? If he was right in front of you, what would you say? Louis, seek help. <laughs> in all fairness, seek help. In all fairness, though. And I'm just being real. And I, I, for what you went through with him, do you feel like that you might want to talk to somebody as well? This is something that <laughs> I'm a very strong-minded person. Um, um, I don't think I, I'm suffering as much as because I took uh, responsibility. I hold myself accountable because um, nobody had a gun to my head to make me deal with all this. Um, so I think I'm I'm good because um. I accept, you know, my part in this being done to me. Um, so, right. I mean, yeah. I, I don't feel like I need to talk to somebody, but, you know, if I had to tell, give him some advice, it would be seek help because, you know, you already lived half of your life. You're, you're, you, you, you going to do, you destroying the rest of your life, you know, and you can't just keep on going, going around hurting these different women making these different women, you know, um, basically th thinking that you care for them just to get something from them because somebody going to hurt him one day. 
somebody gonna take his life. I'm telling you, I tell Lou all the time, a woman, a female gonna be the death of you. Because everybody not gonna, you know, take Go heed to what you're doing to them. Everybody Go. not strong-minded. People clicks out. And, you know, he, he is a narcissist. He's a mastermind manipulator. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I'm not saying this so nobody wouldn't talk to him because, baby, to each his own. And you take that heat off of me, baby. If that's what you want, you can have it. I'm saying this to say, you know, you just, you got to be careful. Like, narcissists are very, very, very dangerous people. You know, they're very dangerous. And they don't care about nobody but they self. They don't mm -hmm. care about how nobody feels but they self. Did he try to contact you since the post about... Clarifying that was you? Did you try to no, you no. The only, the only um thing that I had that I told you was the um maybe Tuesday or Wednesday night that I had was from the text free. Like I don't call him, right. and he don't bother me. Um, right. I get private calls, but that's not to say it's him. I don't know if that's him. I just don't answer. It. Um, what? So you said, and when we first started this, you said that you you like you you like super. It ain't nothing wrong that you like her. You like her. what? What if in what contact? if any did you have with her during out this whole ordeal because she did mention you in her rant on Facebook not Facebook um uh, on Twitter in regards to being um, with somebody else and, she, so she mentioned yeah, she, she called and checked on me um you know when I um when the incident happened she called and checked on me even when I exit um you know I shot myself I know you're familiar you I don't know if you heard about that one but yeah. um I uh, <laughs> accidentally shot myself she called and checked on me like um she, you know, she don't, she know what type of dude Lewis is. And, and she a woman. She understand because she's a woman, you know. But, um. Well, I, I will say this. I don't like her. But I do commend her for calling and checking on you, even in adverse to uh, y'all having whatever dealings y'all have had with him in the past. Somebody um, said another Lou victim. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, These hoes is miserable, broke, half of them. <laughs> miserable, tell broke. My story. <laughs> miserable, broke. And the, I don't even read the comments. Because half of them, half of them hoes don't like you anyway. So they're going to be in their own little world anyway. I'm going to tell my story. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome, to surviving, welcome to Surviving Lewis. What's Surviving Lewis? Uh, <laughs> this, is some, this has been sponsored by Simcon. You got, oh, look, before I ask you something, Miss Dallas, lady, and I'm also. So you got a, you, you said you have a shop. You got 1,400 people in here. Tell them about your shop and where we could we find that. If that's the case, if they're going to listen to it, they might as well talk me? about your business. Me? Yes, you. Yes, you. Oh, I have, I am the owner of Exclusive Creations. We do everything for all y'all printing needs. File us, Exclusive Creations. Um, uh, Exclusive Creations, NOLA. I also have a transportation business. If y'all need a little ride for y'all kids, y'all grandma, y'all mama need to go to the doctor, tell them call Medicaid. Request Lady Ayara transportation, and I also have a tax business. So, um, all around, okay. I, I, I ain't give Lou no motherfucking money. So, for everybody <laughs> who in these comments talking shit, baby, one thing about it, and two things for sure, I didn't give Lou no motherfucking money. And, uh, so, so tell her. Tell us. The comments. I mean, fuck that's, you can't comments. read the comments. You can't read the comments. That's, you can't you, read you the comments. Let the, the comments post in the comments. You up here now. You you at you it's, you at the table. What? Tell us your first of all. Tell us how you were introduced to him and what your situation was. Real shit. So, uh, me and my homegirl was being, you know, what I'm saying we were just being funny on Instagram, and I had wrote on the one of his pictures, but I thought I was sending it to my best friend. I actually ended up sending a message to him. And it was some shit like, you know, some just stupid shit. You know how you just be lurking? But you You're accidentally fine. sent a message to the wrong person. So I sent the message to the wrong person. And the, to the wrong person, instead of sending it to my friend, I sent the shit to him. So uh -huh. he ended up writing me back the next day and was like, uh, shoot your shot. And I was like, are you still single? He said, yes. So. And what was this? Actually, what time, what time about was this? What month or so was this? Was this? this was in May. May. And so he y'all was cool, y'all was straight in May. Uh uh y'all was um no I think y'all was like on bad terms, right? You said y'all was like getting into it and stuff, right? Was he still sleeping there in May? Or was he still at No, house? no, 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 no. We were good. Remember I seen him or uh, you him comment on one of your posts. He commented okay. on my picture, yeah. So that's how y'all yeah. got introduced is when you saw 
her comment on okay gotcha yeah okay. she wrote me all right she wrote me on instagram it was like are you and lou messing around and i said that i said yeah to you i did right i, I said yeah we, because at this time we had been talking for like a week so after she wrote me he told me he was like don't talk to her she just being messy me and her not together no more he was like block her so me being who I am, I ended up blocking her. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, maybe she is just being messy, you know, because hoes be doing that. Right. So I had blocked her or whatever. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm done with her. Me and her ain't together. He was like, me and her was never together. And you know what I'm saying? He would just talk bad mouth to her. Like, right. that's really how this shit started. So I was like, OK, cool. First of all, I'm not yelling. Suck my dick, OK? <laughs> Second, OK, so next. So um, this is how the fuck I talk. If you don't like the way I talk, you can exit the line. Stop reading the comments. Okay, OK, OK, OK. Okay. Y'all know I'm crazy. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, zero so to, zero to hundred real quick. Yeah, so like I was saying, if I was really interrupted by some bum ass hoes in these comments, um, I said I'm ready to tell my story. Y'all gonna listen or not? The fuck? <laughs> so like I was saying, so after he told me to block her, at this point I'm thinking that they done. So um it was Mother's Day, you know what I'm saying? So Mother's Day came around and I lost my mama for Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is always like a hard day for me. So me and Lou had already been talking now for like two weeks. And so he was like, um, I got a surprise for you for Mother's Day. I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'm thinking he gonna send something to my house or, you know, just send something. So I was like, okay, cool. So um, the day before Mother's Day, me and my best friend had planned to go out to the club. You know, I was trying to go out and just get my night on, just chill and shit. So Lou was like, go to the Westin Hotel at the Galleria. I got something for you. He was like, my homeboy gonna bring you something for Mother's Day. And I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking to myself, y'all, y'all home? No, he said his cousin. So I was like, okay, cool. So I go to the Westin Hotel on my way to the club and I'm sitting outside. I was like, tell your cousin to hurry up because I gotta go. So he was like, okay, he coming down right now. So I was like, I right, bet. So I look up, it was Lou. Lou was in Dallas. Oh. Like, oh. he had oh, booked the room. Oh, uh, he booked the room at the Westin Hotel out here in Dallas. And he came out here and we spent the weekend together. Was that your first time actually meeting? Yes. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. I yes, guess. that was my first time meeting him in person. I had already seen him. Of oh, course. Cool. Uh, yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? On social media, like like right. everybody else. I ain't know nothing about this nigga like that. I was surprised he had came down here because he didn't know me either. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So right. anyways, we chilled. In, I went out. I still went out with my homegirl that night. I got back to the room at around 6 o'clock the next morning, which was Mother's Day. We chilled for Mother's Day. Uh, he took me to eat out, and you know what I'm saying? We had a good time that whole weekend. I'm still thinking, you know, he he not messing with nobody. Were y'all, did y'all, were y'all sexually, were y'all sexually active during the weekend? Yeah, we was. Uh -huh. Did y'all, did y'all use protection? Most definitely, yes. Okay. And he was mad. He was mad that I asked him to use protection. Um, so listen, uh, at what part so when he left were y'all still cordial on good terms what kind of yes we talked for a long time so um he went back to new orleans me and was still talking and at this time i was about to come home because i was having some issues with my family so you know i live in louisiana too. i'm from louisiana so um i was getting ready to go home this so i was like hey i'm gonna go to louisiana you know what i'm saying to go visit my family he was like, oh, okay, bet. Well, let me know when you get here. You know what I'm saying? Me and you could chill together. He was like, I'm going to get us a room. I went down there again. I went to New Orleans. He got us a room. You know what hotel. He, he got us a room at, girl. So. <laughs> what hotel so he got your room at? We don't know. Girl, <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so it was on the West Bank. It was on the West Bank. A okay, cheap hotel on the West Bank Expressway. That was okay. 70 some dollars then. And then it was oh, like some type ooh, of. Ooh, I didn't know that hotel was this cheap. I'm going to get us a room here all the time. Oh, it was some, <laughs> it was some type of sweet or whatever like that. But so we chilled that whole weekend again. Cause at this point, I'm still thinking he's single. So we ride through New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? We don't went to close space. We don't uh, you know what I'm saying? We don't did some shit like mm -hmm. we were chilling. I'm not thinking nothing of it. But little that I know, he had all of this going on. I'm like. <laughs> So at what part did you find out? So you you went back home, of course, of course. Uh, just kind of keeping it a little private. You went you went back home. Y'all still chilling and stuff. At what part did you find out about Adrian? I did know about Adrian. So what part did you know? And this become a situation where you addressed it with him. I asked him about Adrian. He always told me she was crazy. He ain't fuck with her like that. She was stalking him. All types of shit. He was like me and her was never in a relationship, and you know what I'm saying, like. 
You believe them, do you? So now, no. I really, didn't, I really didn't care. And to be honest with you, I didn't care because I don't take niggas like that serious any fucking way. I'm self-made. I've been self-made. So at the end of the day, I didn't take the shit that serious to where I got my feelings that deeply involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just didn't. Like. So how did but, it come about him asking you? So he asked you for $2,000, correct? Yes. How did that come about? That's how we stopped talking, really. So uh, it was the day before his grand closing. So the day before his grand closing, because it was an opening. <coughs> but anyways, I'm gonna, that's another story. The, the day before his grand shade. closing, he had hit me up and was like, hey, I'm about to go to Atlanta. And I was like, oh, okay. He was like, I'm going to pick up some new merchandise. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So he was like, um, if he called me, he was like, if I ever, he was like, I got a question for you. I was like, what's up? He said, if I was broke, would you still talk to me? And I said, yeah. I said, because we're saying your pockets don't have nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's on you if you broke. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's, you know, I still fuck with you. So he was like, all right, bet. So he hung the phone up. Two hours later, he texted me. And he was like, I need a favor. I was like, okay. I was like, what's the favor? At this point, I'm already doing what the fuck going on. So he was like, um, bitch, shut up about my curtains. Hold your mama got dollar store curtains. I got time today, though. I got time. But anyway, so... Uh, he had texted me. He was like, "I need a favor," and I was like, "Okay, what's the favor?" He was like, "I need to, I need two bands," and I was like, "For what?" And he was like, "Cause I gotta go to Atlanta to pick up some new uh, merchandise," and I was like, "Oh, I was like, uh, and when you need this?" And he was like, "Right now, if you can," I said, "I'm sorry, I cannot do that." So after I told him that, I didn't hear from Lou the rest of the night. He didn't text me, and let me not remind you, we was talking all day. I tell him we talking nonstop. Like clockwork. After I said no, I did not hear from Lou at all, like for the rest of the night. So the next day came was a day for him to go to Atlanta. He finally hit me up and was like, they finna get on the road and they finna do this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then that's when I found out he was still talking to Adrian too because she was sending, he was sending her the same messages about ordering clothes and shit that he was sending her. He was sending us the same messages. Like, wow, just copying and paste. Yes, yes. And the, the last girl wrong. I just found out about, the last girl, she had the same messages too, so. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah, the other girl, right. Yeah, yeah who gave him the $1,500. She, so, so there was a girl that actually gave him some of the money that he was asking. Yeah, she gave him $1,500 the day before his, for him. He went to Atlanta the day before his grand opening to get some clothes, and she gave him $1,500. It's the efficiency for me. Yeah. Did did he get, did he pay her back or anything? This bro, baby. She, she said he paid her back. She she said he paid her back. My edges look so good. They're actually my shit tattooed. Nah, baby, that's water. Stop playing with me in here. But anyways, yo, that's what y'all was saying. <laughs> so, so after you denied him the money, the relationship kind of became whatever. Yes, it, it went downhill because at this point now, I guess he started talking to the girl who did give him the money. So it's like we stopped texting, we stopped talking. So now it's time for the grand closing. But but no, you you skipping the whole point. All right, all right. So after the grand opening, after, after the grand opening, you went home, and th this this I mean, her started talking. Okay. After the grand opening, um, I guess she went home. She blocked me on social media. So I'm like, all right, cool, baby, get it how you live. She unblocked me. Me being me, I inboxed. I said, oh. You unblock me, huh, bitch? You must have got a taste of that medicine. You pet it. She's shady. I love it. Go ahead. And, and she said, bitch, I need to call you. And she called me and she said, I just want to apologize. Everything you fucking said was true. Now, I'm the same girl that he don't fuck with. I'm this crazy person. So I had her on the phone the whole time. I'm with him. That shit was funny, too. Okay. He was begging for food. He was begging for you to go get him a meal. <laughs> wow. I'm Man, the same person he don't mess he with. Don't love and, and she heard him saying everything about he don't mess with all. <laughs> what he was saying that? <laughs> Man, I ain't going to Dallas to see no fucking girl. And I swear to God, he was out here in Dallas. I got When I tell you, thing. hold on. Would you send me that on? Okay. This, uh, I wonder, does it see this is just it's just for me in my mind that if somebody asks me for if, if you if I know you ain't got it, you ain't got it. But if somebody if somebody if Lou, it's, it's, it's no way possible you because Lou does a lot of showboating and stunting on this internet, he shows a lot of money all the time, a lot of cars, and 
all this being here and there and doing a lot of stuff. And I'll be like, where is this? I would be like, well, what happened to this nigga? Like, who is that then that you're being, like, that you're pretending to be? Like, did that ever occur to you to be like, I, I don't know, because if y'all talking to him and y'all see him and comment on his pictures and stuff, then you're seeing that 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 type of that type of stuff. At any given time, did you ever ask him, like, really, what's, what's going on with your finances? What's going on with your work? When I left Adrian, I guess you didn't wait because you were trying to help him get to a different spot. But uh, Miss Dallas, girl, what whatever say what? Oh, you from Louisiana? You from Dallas? You live in Dallas? Uh, what's your, I'm sorry, sweetheart. What's your name? I apologize. I don't know it off the off the off the. You talking what, to your, me? Yes, ma'am. My name Destiny. Destiny. Okay, I'm shaking. Nice to meet you. Um, so Des, you you at any given point in time, outside of the two thousand dollars, do you actually for money? Because oh. he will go live and say. That bitch is lying. I never met her a day in my life. No, bitch, you met that girl. You drove your dunk ass to Dallas after, <laughs> after three weeks, bitch. So we love a good receipt. <laughs> it's a receipt. <laughs> love a good old receipt. That's a good receipt. You, you was what's up on me. Yeah, you was what's up on Full of oh. them fucking bitch. Don't play with me, ho. Cause you post anything about me, bitch. I'm posting dick pictures and all. Don't play with me, bitch. Girl, we just started already. Don't Thank post you. that Viana on here, girl. Don't, dis <laughs> don't, don't disappoint the followers. <laughs> so y'all in agreement that the the penis is small and the, the so what? Okay, so sexually, will you ever either one of you, Destiny, or, you, or will you ever satisfy in a sexual way? Never. Not and he one? can't eat pussy, so. Oh, wow. But he's a narcissist. The bitch will hug you. All night and make you feel like you love the bitch. If he turn, he gonna pan on you to turn around and hug him. He's a fucking narcissist. It baby, baby. I hate it. Somebody baby, said it's too small. Let me find out else though. <laughs> baby, what you doing, stinky, stinky? Oh, wow. Y'all better not fall for that shit, bitch. So don't fall for so it, bitch. Destiny, do he you does think move. That bitch cold. That bitch cold. Destiny, are you? Is you in agreement that he's that affectionate? Was he that affectionate with you? I just didn't take it serious. It was fun. Okay. No, he definitely did not put his teeth, them fucking candy corn teeth, anywhere near me. No, he did not. <laughs> for the people in the comments, he did not put them big ass choppers anywhere near my vagina. The fuck? Right. Did he? Did he eat your mama? So let me say something. I'm gonna say that with the bag. Uh, six. One of Super X's went on record to say that uh, all she does is sit down and watch me all day because, of course, me and her have a, a very colorful not liking of each other. Um, and that's just and it just goes without saying, and that's just being real. Um, so I would say there's a 99.9 percent .9 chance that she's probably in here watching this as y'all discuss her baby day. And if she isn't, if she isn't here right now, because somebody sent it to her. If she isn't isn't here right now, she's gonna see it later. I assure you. Um, I don't have no problems with Super. She, I mean, she she's a grown ass woman, a self made. I don't have no problems with her. Do you have? What would you tell her about this? Because this is this what happens is, and this is just fact. What he does, we know her. We know him, of course, through her. So what he does does reflect on her, and sometimes reflects on her business. From woman to woman, if she's in here watching you, what do you have to say to her? To me, I, w I would say I would scene. say we should have listened to her. We okay. should have always believed her because nothing she said was a lie, and we should we should have listened to her. Nothing that I just never commented on it because it it wasn't my place. But saying all the little ducks going against her and everything that she ever spoke was fast. everything. And I say you know um yeah she cheated first with the woman, but she should have cheated 10 times. Knowing the type of person that he is, he got everything that he deserved. So, he'll make a bitch go cheat. So, um, I will say that um, thank God, you know, I, I wouldn't feel hurt, you know, I know she kind of feel hurt because they share a child together, but she should be praising God every chance that she get that she was able to get away from it. Because she technically she didn't take no losses. Right. She actually did herself a major a major favor. Right. You, Dex, you have anything to tell? Nope. <laughs> Nothing at all. 
You are so mean. <laughs> he does be like, God, Lord. The, oh, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, that's what do you and you know what kills me? It kills me when people get on here and say, oh, they just wanted to mess with Luby because Super have them. Bitch, who won't mess with somebody because somebody have them? Bitch, I'm a boss too. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? And I don't read these comments because, bitch, my call costs more than everything in your house, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. That's why you can't read these comments because these hoes is crazy. That's why would somebody it. just want somebody because somebody else had them? You hoes is weird. <laughs> that, oh, I'm, I'm curious because, generally speaking, is a certain type of woman we are seeing that is a pattern for you. What do you do as far as, as, as out there? Do you have a business or are you employed or are you just... I'm employed. Okay. I have two okay. jobs. I do hair on the side and I work at Victoria's Secret. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of like the self-made type of woman. Most definitely. That yeah. he, okay, but that seems to be that type of woman here. Let me block the ugly out here because bitch, you is ugly. You Lou best <laughs> friend, you ugly. All Lou got to do is give you a bag of weed hoe and you going to keep coming in these comments. Lou, Ooh. Lou. New new nails by new new. Get your ugly ass off this live because you're ugly. No ugly people you ain't even allowed on here. You're ugly, who get your ugly broke ass off this live, who let me block this one off my live because see now I'm getting like you entertaining these comments with all the ugly ass with all that shit in our face. That's the synthesis of the comments. Don't worry about the comments. All right, uh, I'm sorry, shake it back to the interview. Do you do, do you feel from this was? a learning experience and that's an open question as well of course of course i feel like i feel like this is a learning experience and i'm not ashamed of it you know hopefully what i went through can help somebody you know because um i even started this um live podcast see that's why i say you can't read the comments because i got a lot of maturing to do um i even started from this um what i went through it, it caused me to start a live podcast um, on Mondays and Wednesdays. And, you know, I call it my role, keeping it real. Like, I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. I'm gonna keep it real. Right. Um, I started a live podcast, but it definitely was a learning experience, you right. know, and, and hopefully what I went through could you help another woman. Bitch. Right. That's what you, you learn? You learn anything from this? Or it's just like, fuck it. I, it's just like, Pure entertainment. It. This shit is funny as hell. It's pure entertainment for you. Okay. That's fair. Um, is there anything else related that y'all feel like y'all want to say to the people or anything else before I, I leave out uh and I, first of all I want to just thank y'all for allowing me thank you agent for letting me come to your page and allowing me to ask a few questions about uh the situation at hand um it does sound like from what, what y'all have said and I believe both of y'all I do I believe both of y'all handle it right at this point um I and and, and trust the plus I mean I do at this point feel like uh that, and this is me saying this. If y'all have made me and convinced me to believe that, uh, in this instance, I do believe, and, and trust me, this is hard for me to say. I do believe Super is probably in the right. I do believe she's a victim. I believe y'all both were victims of his attempted manipulation. I believe he was trying to get whatever he could get, whether it come, whether they come from love or affection or money or whatever he was trying to get. And I do believe that. Uh, so I, I apologize for telling y'all story. I, I and and being candid and being honest and that's just something that i i appreciate a lot of people don't like to live in the truth they want they don't want to embarrassed or whatever the case they may be for mistakes they made and neither of you women it's wrong, and neither of you women exhibited you. that um and if you and if y'all got me to say super was right y'all know y'all must have did something here because I, <laughs> I, I i was i was definitely never was gonna let that come out of my mouth <laughs> JK, you can't short your blessing shaky you have too much going on shaky you have too much going on for yourself a lot of people look up to you <clears throat> and sometimes you know you gotta turn that negative energy into positivity you know what yeah. i'm saying you can't hate people because you short your blessing right right you're right i'm, I'm not disagreeing with that Is it, and so before so i like i said i thank y'all for giving me this opportunity to ask y'all a few questions uh is there anything else that y'all would like to say in regards to the situation that maybe when y'all were left out or something in that nature or something that y'all want to tell to the people in here? You have about 1,500 some people in here. Basically, and... just find out who you... Do your research on a person first before you, you know, get into, no, like... It's... not at all. Bunk. Two minutes. Matter of fact, I'm going I'm, I'm to say, Noah, the, the other... The, the Matter of fact, the morning before he left, the, the shit is just so normal that the other day 
the, the, before he left, we actually was having, we had sex. And I'm I'm funny. Anybody who know me, B, you know me personally. V, you know me personally. I'm funny as fuck. Um, I looked at the clock and I said, matter of fact, it, it had to be like the day before the incident happened. And I looked at the clock and I said, he said, come on, give me some before I get up and go. I said, I'm sick of these two minutes. I said, it's 1154. So, a bitch, I'm going to time myself from the time I start riding. Because this time me and him talk. I got up there. It was 1154. And he came at 1155. And I just shook my head. And I said, boy, it ain't even was two minutes. It was one. It was oh. 1155. That boy looked at me and said, no, it was 1156. So, Y'all could go ahead on. Um, go ahead on. Y'all could have it. It's $10. I'm going to leave it at y'all hell. Let y'all be. Y'all think y'all winning with. I ain't got no motherfucking reason to lie. Shit. Okay. 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 Well, this is definitely. But the people say they got questions shaking. But if y'all need any other questions or y'all want confirmation, I don't give a fuck about a nigga talking about me. A nigga saying I'm low income. I got my own everything. It's this a big song shit. in the background. <laughs> this is my shit, so it don't matter. I have free transportation vehicle. A call. I don't care about what nobody say about me. I don't have anything to prove to nobody. So. Okay, well, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, she said what she said. Uh, again, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a drop down. If y'all want to continue entertaining the question, uh, y'all feel free to do so. But I'm going to just leave with this one. No one minute, man. Break me off. Show me what you got. Come on. I no one minute, man. Period. Y'all have a wonderful day. Fun. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> All right, then. All right. <laughs> Girl, that's oh, what he, I just got off from work. I'm gonna go fire me up a blunt. That's, that's what he wanted, though, girl. He wanted that cloak. That's what he wanted. He's trying to sell them clothes, but ain't nobody gonna buy that shit. I fucking did. Cause whoever put them clothes on gotta understand that bitch you're putting on a pedophile brand. So that's all on them. Bitch, that's it. That's all. Let me get my the rest of my day started. Bitch, I gotta get ready to go out tonight. I'm gonna hit you up though. All right, chick. All right, bye. Bye, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in.